Hello everybody, welcome back to the craft room and it's Card Sunday and I just had this bag by the side of me and with bits of paper where you chop down papers like little pieces like that in the rag in the scrap bag so I was going through it and throwing some of it away because why do you keep it? because I keep like pieces like that because they're handy for like sentiments and stuff and so I chopped a pile of it up and I come up with this little patchwork card so I thought well I'll do one of these for card Sunday but instead of going diagonal like this one I'm gonna go across that way that's my thought for this one so I've put double-sided tape on a I got a six by six card blip base and I got a five and a half I think this was to go on the top but then I've got a pink piece and I thought well I don't want to waste this pinky piece that'll go on there first and then this will go on if I trim it down maybe I don't know whether I'll trim it maybe I don't maybe I will I don't know we'll go on the top of there we'll see so I'm put that over there for a moment I put double sided tape all on this piece and we'll just take the pieces off as we're going along and see what we come up with hey yo if I can get the tape off I'm just going to take off a few pieces at first to go start me off with put them in the bin we'll go halfway one two three four oh, I've got to go another one to go there that's it and these are all different sizes and widths 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 <laughs> not wits, wits. Am I gonna go start by you? And you want to leave little gaps in between them to put some glitter. So I'm just gonna go all different angles and different ways, it doesn't matter because we're gonna put some glitter in between them and then I'm gonna start going this way and that way whatever fits as I said in leaving little gaps in between so I can get some glitter in them I don't need that one I've used that piece oh that's a nice little thin piece to go by sewing there like that okay and we're just playing along where we go with I hope everybody's okay okay whoops daisy I'm having a lovely day and the weather's been so good and happy Easter to everybody and I'm filming this on a Saturday because I've got Emma and the boys coming for lunch tomorrow so I won't be able to do it tomorrow so that's why I'm doing it today I've got a butterfly there I'm going to do that one this way um what else have we got on you i don't know it's all different papers and stuff nope. we'll put that one on there like that that's okay for me for there and then you go along this side now so we'll go there but I'm gonna trim that off at a angle like that and it'll fit nicely in there like so 
and you just build along as you're going along. You haven't got to be too particular. That's the best thing about playing. And that's the best thing about crafting. Playing and seeing what you can come up with. And we'll have this nice greeny one in there. Perfect, yes. Nice. And then I come over to this corner. As I said, if you leave the gaps, you'll have nice pieces to put your glitter in. Got that one in there. When we put the flies on it, should we? That's a nice piece. go. I'm going to turn this over and cut all these pieces off because we can use these pieces. My longer scissors. off the tape. Right, so I've got green piece. Okay, and that one's already cut, so we'll use it. And that piece will be okay. On the end of there, it's okay for me. Cut that one like me. Put this side down. Um, we'll have this piece. At the bottom. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, that'll fit in there nicely. Okay. Right, yo. So there's more bits here, and I can make another card. A couple of cards for that, actually. And then with your spaces, the sticky, where I use the lighter pink glitter for this one, I'm going to use the darker pink on this one. And then just get your glitter, sprinkle it all over your paper. Like that. Put it on a spare piece of paper, obviously. And I'm just going to run my finger into the glitter, into your spaces. And then the sticky of your glue will stick you to the paper, the sticky. Like so. And then scrape it off. And then give it a brush with your pink brush. And all the access is coming off. Like so. And how pretty is that looking? Get your glitter pop back in. Pop. Pop back on. There's that base back in there. I love that. That come out really cool. I love it. So we get my card base and I'm going to put my piece of paper down first just flat and let me see what looks best on there now with the darker piece or the lighter piece or the dark makes it pop so put the dark piece on that and put that on to your card base right I'm gonna get my card base back in and I just got this foam pad and it's not very high so I'm just gonna use this up I don't even know where I got this from, but it's not very high. So I'm just going to use this for now. To use this up. Take the back off. to your card base. I'm just going to run it over with the brush again. 
just being on this paper like that how cool is that that looks really nice i love that let me move that piece of paper and i've got a happy birthday oh look A happy birthday on this stamp and we shall stamp it on this piece of green well, I might do it on the pink to be honest I did it on the green the last one so I do it on the pink one that and put some of this foam pad on the back of you because it's not very high I'm going to put two on put one on top of that one and get another piece gonna put it in the middle for that one and then you got this one so I move the rubbish over there and we got that one I feel like that and then we got this one I love them both I think they both come out really cool so I hope you like that like what you see please give me a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber please subscribe and i'll speak to you all on the next video so thank you all for watching take care and i'll speak to you soon bye for now